So in the video I did about the um, old versus the new LED, there's a comment there mentioning about the um, current and voltage curves of the LEDs. Basically, current times voltage is the, uh, the amount of power that they take. So I'm, I'm not going to take and characterize a bunch of LEDs and on the curves like that. That's more work than I want to do right at the moment anyways. So what I have done here is I've decided to put the same amount of power through the two LEDs. Um, you'll get reach the same conclusion as you did in the previous um, old versus new one. These new guys are just fantastically better than the, than the old LEDs. And I'll turn the light out here at the end of this video and you'll see just how fantastic they really are because this guy is so much brighter and this one actually is on even though you can barely tell um, so anyways the, the circuit is over here as you can see we take a 150 ohm resistor for dropping the current and because the voltages across the two leds are slightly different because of their chemistries and just the way they're built um, i've put a trim pod in here to take that up and uh, you can see here that uh, the, the current or the uh, wattage between the two of them is, is essentially the same thing. They drift around a little bit, the power supply drifts or the wa whatever's going on here, but it drifts a slight bit. But we can see that we have 8.8 uh, .8, um, milliamps through this and across this, uh, the old LED here, we have uh, 1.635. So that's, that's close enough for the the calculations here that I tried out a little bit earlier and uh, just to show just to prove that the current through the other guy is what I say it is I'm gonna take and run this around and we'll take and hook this guy up and there's the uh, 7.6 see it's drifted a bit this is 7.47 and the voltage across here is uh, 1.943 so pretty, pretty close to the old thing here, but that's an amazing difference. And I'll turn the lights out and you can actually see. Isn't that something?